everyone, Melissa here. Today I am doing another Halloween Manny. Yes, it is Halloween all month. Um, but today I'm going to be using a technique I'm really excited about. Um, I haven't done this before, so you know, this will be new and it's, it's a cool, exciting technique that I think can be used in a lot of different ways. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is a blood spatter using only dip and activator. Um, no paints, no pens, nothing else. So just dip powder, dip liquids, and activator. So um, we're just going to go ahead and get started in this mani. I'm, I'm going to be doing those nails first. So let's jump into that. Um, I've already filed the nails, shaped them, cleaned the cuticles, um, done the buffing. So all I have to do is put the prep on my prep bond, my number one from Double Dip that I used to help prevent lifting. So I'm going to put that on and then we'll get started with the blood spatter process. Okay, so I'm only going to be doing the blood spatter look on two of the nails. The Others, I'm going to do some black and I'm going to draw um, a ghost face from Scream on here to kind of give it the, he's the one who caused, he's the one who caused the blood spatter kind of, <laughs> kind of feel. So what I'm going to start with first off is just a layer of dip base on the nail to kind of lay a foundation, something for a powder to go on top of. Okay, now what I'm going to be using for this, I have, it's it's a builder gel brush. Um, I'm using the smaller end and activator. And then my two colors I'm going to be using, I have double dipped on the town, which is a, a deep red. And then just a little bit of cranberry tart, which is pretty much the darker version of on the town. Almost goes to the black side. But... For the application of the powder, I'm not using any base. I'm not using any of the dip base. I'm only going to be using the activator. I'm using my Sparkling Co Solidify number three um, because it is a slightly slower drying activator. The quicker the activator dries, the more difficult this technique is going to be. The double dipped activator dries super fast. So I'm using my Sparkling Co plus the neck of the bottle is wide enough that this brush can fit into it, which uh, is exactly what I want. I don't want to have to pour the activator out into a separate dish because activator does dry and evaporate pretty quickly. And if you have it out into in an open air dish, it is going to evaporate away. And you don't want it to do that. You want to try and save as much of this as you can. You don't want it just flying away from you. So I'm just taking the top off and I'm going to be sticking the brush directly into the activator. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's really not. Um, so I'm going to get a little of the activator. Just stick the brush right down in there. Dab a little off and just gently get that into the powder. And then you want to work with it pretty quickly. We're just going to kind of smear it onto the nail. Try and spread it out before it dries because it will dry pretty fast. We're going to continue do that to do that in little spots here and there. The more you work with this, the more you get familiar with how much liquid to use and how much to touch it into the powder. Um, and really the wetter the better because you can work with it a little bit longer. If it comes out really dry, it's just going to harden on you pretty quickly. Just going to do a little spot up the top. I'm actually gonna grab a small brush that I have, um, a thinner tipped one, because I just kind of want to do like little, little dots, like splatter dots. So dip that in there. Just barely touch it in. 
it'll pick up a bit. You can just put that in places. You want a little splatter dot here and there. This, this is very similar to acrylic and monomer application. Um, if you've done that, then you'll be very familiar with kind of the idea here. But for dip, the activator works great for it. Okay, now I'm going to get the darker color just because I want to add kind of a pooling um, depth effect to this like splattered kind of blood look. We're gonna get the activator just a touch of this color because it's very dark. You don't want a lot. Just gonna kind of add it in spots towards the center of where my blood is. That's a little dry. A little too dry. Okay, once you're happy with that look, I'm gonna go on and, and do the next nail. Okay, once you think that you've kind of got, kind of got the look the way you want it, it's just however you want it. It's just messy and crazy. Then we're going to do some dips of clear, regular old dips of clear over the top to encapsulate that on the inside. I've got my double dipped clear because it is super, super, super clear like glass. And that's what we want for this look. I'm going to be doing um, probably three dips of clear over this because we're going to be filing it smooth anyway. I'm going to make sure it seals that look in pretty well. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and dip her other nails. I'll be doing onyx on these two are just a straight black, and then I'm going to be doing Casper the Friendly Ghost, uh, which is a white glow for this nail, as um, we'll be using that for our scream face, our scream face, so it glows. Okay, now I'm going to activate and file all of these nice and smooth. All right, last thing we're gonna do before we top coat is our ghost face, our scream face guy. So I'm going to be using my um, this Microline 0.3 millimeter pen to do the outline of the face and some of the finer detail within the face. And then I will be filling the rest of it in with just a larger Micron pen. So I'm gonna start up here in the corner, coming down. out. Okay, we got the basic outline of the face there. I'm going to put a knee here.
going on out here. Get my slightly thicker tipped pen to make filling in all of the black a little bit quicker. I'm gonna go around that cuticle nice and clean, mimicking the cuticle line that already exists, the white one. Just outlining that nicely. Okay, and then we're going to let that dry really well before we top it with a layer of dip base to encapsulate it and then we will activate and top coat everything. All right, when I go over this, I'm going to float it and not drag the brush against the nail. I'm going to float it over. Drag the brush against the nail, it will increase the chance of the ink running. Just kind of float the liquid over the top. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and activate and top coat all of them. All right, and here we are um, with the finished product with our really cool um, no ink, no nail polish splatter look. I really like it. I think it's cool and I'm loving this technique and I can't wait to use it in other ways and to do other kinds of designs. I already have some ideas. Uh, if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. If you like my video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time with another cool Halloween mini.